left my husband. Oh. Don't kill that O'Driscoll boy just yet. We need to get something out of him first. I ain't promising nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. I wonder if I'll ever not smell of campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, Arthur. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. You are the creepiest man I know. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Probably the nastiest. Why are you so threatened by me? I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was one of the hundred of you thieves and murderers. Hello. Did you and Micah see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand? You really me? shouldn't rile me. Ain't wise. You'll be me. Okay, 
partner. Greetings. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Now, let me just look in here. Yours now. Anything else? Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. <laughs> Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy? 
I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Sir? Sir, you all right? Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Hello, Hello, mister. Well, you're just full of charity, ain't you? Well, I'm just trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <clears throat> you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Just prove we're here for each other. It is in giving 
that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <coughs> so give generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. Good to meet you. Welcome. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. I've been in Valentine so long, I just don't see myself anywhere else. Thank you. Really. What you staring at? Move you along. borrow from the O'Driscoll boys. You two you can't win a fair O'Driscoll fight, boys. it? Looks like you need a lesson. <laughs> You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a they gentleman. won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you, and less of them damn old Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Or hey. my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Uh, howdy. 
Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Not bad, boy. Hope you've been good out there. Working hard there? I guess. Well, I won't disturb you. All right, then. Slow it up. Yep. Like 
you ain't a selfish, bloodthirsty moron. You mean lie? <sighs> Shut up. John. What? How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Sure, Arthur. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Good, we really needed this. Many thanks. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hi there, Arthur. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to Sean. I know, I know. I'm on it, I promise. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Thank you.